Welcome back, dear friends of Tactical Gameplay, to another episode of Xenonauts X Division with Midaga. Um, last time we had the uh, first wave of March um, of planes. We have plenty of funding, and um, the plan is to basically deal with um, with this wave, and then hopefully have enough equipment and stuff to go for the base raid on. Uh, on the thing that has been sitting here for a while. So, in terms of um, aliens, obviously this is the first one we need to um, address. Seems we don't have that much. We have we could send heavy fighters from here, um, and they obviously will turn towards the first thing that we send against them, right? Uh, the question is if heavy fighters actually are equipped well enough um, to deal with them. These Azeros have no range. The Corsairs of Indochina we could send. This is basically the worst, the worst part of the world where they could have spawned in and we definitely need more Corsairs now, um, as it seems. We have one Corsair in Europe. Let's send this Corsair and two heavy fighters then. And let's just hope that um, we can deal with all these escorts. Maybe let's start by sending um, these Indochina Azeros against this one to catch the, um, catch the escorts. This one doesn't need anything. And this one we might want to do from North America then. Um, North America has some Corsairs and the Nazios. It's all a hodgepodge of units here. But whatever. Um, we should also be able to send this stuff um, against that. And. Um, yeah, that's basically all for now, right? This one. Oh, we have a <laughs> we have a plane called Reequip in North Africa, and we're gonna s have to see. I think we re we um, had it have new to yeah, it has new torpedoes. Okay, so it is something like um, Foxtrot. Let's just say twenty, just to be. Reasonably, reason. Oh, come on, Foxtrot twenty. Enter. Is it now Foxtrot twenty? It is. Okay. So now let's send that. It isn't. It isn't strictly necessary against that, but unless there's like a um, a terror UFO spawning here somewhere. I mean, even if. Hey, there, there are still heavy fighters here. Okay, um, it's kind of, kind of. What is with South Africa? They don't have anything yet. Uh, so South America, I meant. Well, then let's send the Central America ones. Be glad that we have them. Oh, they have turned towards this now. Let's see. Okay, this is the first one. We can't tail them until overland. I don't know if they are. We're just gonna do our best fighting here. Um, gonna go towards here. We have hypervelocity fighter beams. So no cool sonar pulses or focus lenses or whatever. Um, Zeros should stay on full speed. Um, this Corsair should slow down a bit, just to have the other Corsair catch up, like this. And then we can put on afterburner for sure for all of them. And um, have them turn into the enemy like right about now. And let's also do this slower. Okay, what's damaged and why? And why so little? Yeah, I, I turned too late, basically. Um, maybe we'll actually turn this way. Um, 
they are going to turn this way for sure with the trajectory that we are doing um, so we should maybe be turning this way to turn them yeah looks looks like something we might want to do and it seems if this one can already turn it can oh it's yeah zero so, okay i clicked the wrong one i should have checked i was kind of confused here um we should definitely turn off afterburner now because turning is slower on afterburner um the zeros just maybe turn away once more with afterburner on and you can turn You go towards them. Doesn't look good for our little Azeros here. Now it can turn. Okay, still got um, pretty much wrecked here. We are turning into them now. Um, let's just roll now, I guess. Okay. This Corsair is pretty, no, the other Corsair is pretty damaged. Let's turn towards here with this one also. And then they're going to turn this way. So this is gonna, come on, turn. Why don't you turn? Like what am, what am I doing with this one now? I should be rolling it out of their out of their um, area and then also turn it this way I guess not perfect but what can you do I feel bad about this. yeah I, I feel pretty bad about it already so um, there's that okay so this course here how, when when can that turn is the question like when is it sensible for it to turn basically they only have light and minimal damage really. um, you cannot turn yet and you like for you it doesn't make sense come on let me turn okay now I can turn and you need to go there you go down there and I think you should be turning now and now turn this way turn this way we have a situation developing here. okay it doesn't look good uh, you can turn actually okay that might be good if we are targeting this one And you can turn now and target this one. Okay, okay. Uh, we saved it from the from the brink of collapse here, basically, and then we're turning into its backside. Okay, both corsairs um, barely saved, but we did it. And they are just pirouetting for joy. Okay, this was apparently over the sea. Uh, um, might be Coast Guard gets the scraps. Uh, maybe they should actually return to base here because of these coming. Yeah, okay. And now we can send them again with uh, what was it? This okay, there's the other. Um, it's about time. Other fighter engagement. Now we have um, the advantage of a sonar pulse corsair, which should just damage them all the time. Um, the first heavy fighter should slow down a bit. Um, corsair is slower anyway, it seems. I'll turn the engine up and you turn it down. Uh, not convinced of that. 
Let's see. We won't go down there. We take it slow again. We have a situation developing here. And basically now we turn on afterburner and turn into them. Just too far away. This heavy fighter is pretty beat up already. But they have heavy damage. Heavy damage one, critical damage one, down one. Okay, that's nice. So this heavy fighter goes there, this one goes there, and the Corsair just generally turns so it can do more damage. Sonar Corsairs also still have pretty good amount of ammo. We just turn the other way. Come on. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot to turn off the afterburner again. That's what you get for that. And now we turn. And you just come here. And you stay behind it. You go here. You turn more inward. No need for turning even. Respond. If I turn outward now, it's bad. Um, should just. Well, if I if I turn inward now, it's even worse because then it might decide to switch focus, which would be bad. You should turn once, just to get out of its way. Alright. Now let's focus on this one. Sonar Pulse still has so much to give. And you should roll out of the way once you can. Critical damage already on the UFO. Now turn away. Okay. Better outcome, but also more modern planes, so... And now we actually get the fighters, which is nice. Alright, so in terms of missions, we are aiming for um, this construction mission here. Because it's a landing ship and it gives good stuff. And maybe it even has a base operator, I don't know. Um, and this light cruiser basically, but we might want to do this thing first with team 2, just because it's closer. We'll see. Alright, uh, this is disengagement here. I guess, okay, we're it's perfect, we are in, in its rear. Just gonna split up here. And the Foxtrot is going to slow down momentarily. Uh, speed up again and also fly more over there. You're gonna turn outward and be bait. You can, I think, attack. Cruiser doesn't stop turning, which is bad for the Foxtrot, which means we uh, wanna go away here. What are you doing, Cruiser Chan? Now it's turning. Now it wants me. Alright, Foxtrot can come back, I guess. Uh, you can just attack, I guess. You can turn outward again and then fly there. Don't know what happens if I get into this cone. Um, don't know if the, if the heavy fighters can evade whatever it shoots. Ooh, okay, they can, but only barely. You should turn this way. Okay, it's turning already, which is bad. Um, so we're gonna try this. And send this fighter to be bait.
Is it turn? Yeah, it's going for the first. Okay. Just shouldn't be turning when when this shot is going for us. So. I think Light Cruiser has no anti missiles, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it has. Okay. So. Maybe a plasma torpedo goes through? I don't know. Oh, okay. That was rough. Okay, so for Light Cruiser, uh, I didn't look at my cheat sheet, sadly. Um, it should have said that uh, it has anti missiles and um, that I should bring something with missiles, like piranhas or whatever. Come on. Okay. Four max storms, yeah, that's not going to suffice, so we're just gonna get out go home with the one heavy fighter that we have left and then we are going to have to um, intercept it with something and that has other missiles uh, which we don't have so two foxtrot and a heavy fighter maybe if they shoot at the same time it should be able to kill both torpedoes if one of them has the has the rapid torpedo stuff, then we should also be good. Okay, this was a hundred percent, by the way, and I totally failed it. I think that's because torpedoes are just um, overvalued by the auto resolve calculation. Strike corvettes might have anti-missiles too. I don't know. The question here becomes this. Is it going for the thingy? It isn't, so we need to get away. I need to get closer here, possibly. Come on, Foxtrot! Ooh, that was bad, Foxtrot. You go here. You come in here. Let's hit once more. Come on, I don't want you. The bad thing is that it's coming close. I just wanted to yeah, change the angle to something like this. Uh, which might mean we might be able to make it long enough here to have a chance. It doesn't seem that it is closing in. Okay. I mean it's closing in a bit I guess. What's the damage numbers here? Okay, not not good for now. But it's ramping up. Okay. Move on speed, so you can turn. Oh, okay. It's left the fox trot alone. That's nice. That's good. That's what we. That's what we direly needed here. Um, and go for it. Foxtrot's just turning the other way. And you can you please shoot? Okay, that's that. Uh, well, Foxtrot was the bait today. What can you do? Well, it shot one torpedo red. Okay, so we have this mission, and I th think um, like we're gonna wait a short while until we can have this as a day mission before we send Team 2 to that. And the primary concern is definitely this one. Um, and it's actually so concerning that we might want to send um, these out for that. Heavy fighter and course and Foxtrot. Mm, not sure what the landing ship has. Let me let me actually look now. Um, it has the I shoot all around two Sonda one heavy fighter. I wrote two 
two Sonder and one heavy fighter. Okay, I don't have two Sonder. I never had them. Why did I? Why would I want to write that? Oh, these have focus lenses. Okay, that's cool. That's cool because they uh, should uh, do quick work with the heavy fighters. Um, number three, slow down a bit. Number one, slow down a bit. Number one, uh, just start, start starting your engines. And you should turn inwards more. Come on, that that was the jump, really. It was the the range you could roll. Looked kind of short to me. Contact everywhere, heavy contact. Okay, well, in general, we should be getting more away from this thing, but. Uh, as their mission is to bring down these heavy fighters, I don't really, don't really see how that is reasonable now. I think we're gonna send this one for uh, this heavy fighter, What's the and the other two sh uh, try to get this one or something. They're all on full speed, which is nice. like rolling into the bomber there like there's nothing much else I can do okay now we have Mauser damage at least so we should start turning here there's the f hey the focus lens shot once before like this one and it didn't do damage for some reason okay now it destroyed it yeah I saw that now, wow okay they can they can evade the focus lens I feel uh, that this is rigged just stay behind it and kill it okay that's nice now uh, get away as fast as you can you turn outward already you also turn outward and you just speed up yeah we're all in danger thanks And that should be dead. Okay, so focus lens can miss in very close range or close close encounters stuff. Which is something I did not know. Um, now we have to send something against this bomber cruiser. Um, bomber cruiser, let's look. It has missiles, so we need anti-missiles. Uh, one, no, Foxtrot still retrieving. Europe, you are refueling your heavy fighters, which we need for the anti-missiles. And the other ones are airborne to go this way. Um, we don't have North America stuff to intercept that, right? Because uh, they are already, yeah, they, they were going for this. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we against this bomber cruiser. I think we try uh, Firebird and two heavy fighters here. They should at least do some damage, and then we are going to see if we can like prevent some of this bombing mission. But this one has priority that it. Uh, doesn't have the opportunity to build a base <coughs> and we'll be doing that somewhere up there it seems to me that with base building they try to get the corners of the world where you don't have coverage so uh, they are not immediately found out basically um, this is the foxtrot um, one we're gonna patrol here I don't know we're gonna fly a bit closer I would if I could, but I can't. Uh, now, you select new target somewhere up here. Just not the UFO yet. Okay, they're coming closer. 
just as I thought. Um, I'm going to have to chase it a bit with the Corsairs here. The fuel level isn't too nicely looking. Um, that's okay. Okay, now the Corsairs are there. <laughs> Zero seconds of combat fuel for the Aviors. Okay. Yes, we are going to return that. I have high hopes for. Uh, oh, okay. It's the, it's the I shoot, everything, everywhere, always thing. Landing ship has omni cannon. Okay, so that is what I meant with omni cannon. Apparently. Um, so we're not gonna play around here much. Just gonna fly basically more or less straight through them, roll around and try to keep them in our in our cones of fire like this. Okay, that was nice. Um, yeah, you just fly at it and you just turn the other way, I guess. Yeah, makes sense. Now we actually have a fast air engagement here, and now we are going to go away. Get out here to take as little damage as we can. Come on, turn on afterburner. It hurts to see that. Okay, so that was that. Um, now intercept with the. Oh, come on, I need this squad. Select new target in the UFO. I don't need to select my own squadron, thanks. And we engage. Just gonna get in somewhat close with these and uh, try to basically strafe it with the Foxtrot. Okay, we should maybe strafe in this direction. Now it has shot its first missiles. I don't know what uh, this death radius is. It's undamaged here, but okay, so this is our second torpedo. Oh, it has anti missiles. I should ro write it down. It just wrote Omni Cannon. Okay. So we can kind of strafe it with the um, with the fighters. Okay, so every s about second torpedo should hit here. And um, apart from that, I don't know. Okay, was this close range or was this just the normal th stuff? I'm just gonna get on flying here. Like two more torpedoes should basically do the trick and then we just full send in the heavy fighters here and see what the death radius brings. Can we send more torpedoes please? More torpedoes please? More torpedoes please? Nope. Okay. Seems one was shot down. Now we're just gonna have to suffer through this. Almost lost another heavy fighter, but we did it. Um, not too happy that we sunk it, but uh, yeah, we were there. And I don't want another base anywhere. <coughs> so that was okay. We have the money, and I think we also mostly have the components, so not too worried just gonna tail that until overland and try our luck there and also uh, I think we don't have a foxtrot for that right like let's say we want to send something against that do we have any foxtrots left this is going to be retrieved in five hours okay then and then it starts gaining health basically um, this one was just shot down we have one more in Europe Okay, we could send these two heavy fighters with the Foxtrot, yeah. 
I think we're gonna do that once um, once we know that this is not possible we're gonna tail that until overland should be right about now light cruiser again let's look at the uh, it has anti-missiles okay yeah this was the the plan was just to full send two fox shots um, they even have gravity torpedoes which should um, which should mean that the light cruiser is overburdened like the anti-missile system is overburdened even more and then yeah should just uh, like the idea is that it dies before it can do any serious damage here and now we're just gonna turn the foxtrots away because there's like 10 torpedoes coming up against this thing <laughs> not good my friend not good um, yeah, you could just fly out here should suffice okay what kinds of damage do we do here okay enough nice another foxtrot lost I think we I mean, I like the idea was to only build the tier three, um, um, like the phase phase three bombers again because they have two bomb slots. But maybe we wanna supplement some fox trots here with the whatever their their name is. The um, lancer. It's the lancer. Let's look at the specs again. I know I, I already did. Um, top speed is better. The range is obviously better, but the like, well, uh, acceleration of the Foxtrot is better. Okay. Yeah. Turn rate of the Lancer is better. Durability obviously is better. Hmm. Like why is the accelerate like this is al along with turn rate the the acceleration and uh, yeah, the acceleration is, is basically very important to get out of uh, out of their range right hmm. not sure if I'm happy about that okay now up here we have this crash site also with civilians which i did not uh, anticipate i have one squad to deal with a larger season mission which was the landing ship to begin with but i guess now it's this bomber cruiser come on just go over land please um we have another plasma cannon which is uh, excellent um do we have this? No, we don't have the tank for the plasma bolt yet. Plasma rocket is a rocket launch launcher. I think I want this now um, because we will uh, carry a rocket launcher into the base. And I think we will carry also the tank with the um, plasma cannon into the base. We can equip it right now, that's nice. Yeah, because that's the uh, team 1 and team 2 just um, went out here. Uh, maybe we'll we'll build the more modern tank, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I want to send out the siege tank with plasma cannon into the base, because it's just more durable and it like does more damage overall. Uh, most likely than the plasma bolt. Um, let's actually calculate that. I mean, plasma bolt also has to hit, right? It's not a, it's not a um, area of effect weapon. It has damage 200 times um, 20, so this is 4,000. Uh, plasma cannon has uh, way lower. Okay, but it can hit multiple targets, so. Yeah, and it's type incendiary, with which like many are pretty vulnerable. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, are you are you clipping out of the map? Oh no, I didn't. I didn't have the map zoomed out all the way. Uh, yep, yeah, we're gonna begin this mission, and that will be the the real episode, basically. You now, um, let me know uh, what you think about the sound quality because of uh, since my headset had been breaking a bit and doing strange things when uh, when I was talking with other people um, like strange uh, effects where they would hear themselves back even though this is a um, headset microphone um, I now bought a desk micro and yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with it for now I also used it at the last explained series Oh, at, uh, at the last explained episode, but let me know if, if there's anything wrong with the audio. Okay, let's unequip everyone that has to. <laughs> okay, uh, apparently forgot to. S oh my god. This is bad. Okay, so Farrelly was the one who was designated to get that cannon. Um, and I just forgot to equip it. <laughs> okay, so we have a, we have a, a mech dude who has to uh, take another heavy weapon of someone. Um, but that also alleviates our ammo problem, which is nice. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, and maybe actually we uh, let the uh, let Lars's um, plasma caster to the ground here. Does this give you anything? Nope. Okay. You have some smoke grenades. Naked Farrelly, it seems. Really? That much? Oh yeah, you're, you're just corporal. 82 strength. Isn't too much. Not gonna lie. Okay, and we're done. And as is... No, uh, actually not. I no, just wanted to say as, it, as is custom with us, we have our scout um, at the edge of the map, but we don't actually. But we have a nice, um, nice surrounded area here. Makes me wish once again that we had brought more um, jetpack troopers, but we didn't. So it's that. All right. Um, anything else in this direction? So we have this and this opening. This one means that we are pretty safe from any attacks from there for now. Um, And like how far does the map go? Okay, it goes quite a ways in this direction. It doesn't go far this direction. So I guess we're just gonna go this way, all the troops. And then see what comes of that. Like maybe they there could have something yeah, I think we're we're gonna send a a small like three man expeditionary force up here. Okay, <laughs> that solves this um, this question. <laughs> Fairly, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Um, this dude just does have a pistol, so not too worried about this. Why do we have this? Yeah, it's all wrong. I did it all wrong. I did it in multiple steps, and um, obviously, I didn't think right. Um, this, uh, like the mag minigun, should be when you uh, encounter seasons because they are more vulnerable to kinetics. But uh, like that's pretty un un inconsequential actually because of their shields that um, negate any damage anyhow. Okay, at least he uh, will most likely not be able to kill farmer boy, so I'm happy about that. And then w um, I think we're gonna send a, a small troop up here, and we're gonna have uh, our jumpsuit um, 
do this up there for um, for help in that regard. But this is obviously the, the B team again, right? We have one suppression weapon there, so we should send the other way this way. The other one. Okay, heavy, heavy trooper as a private. That's kind of curious. <laughs> we totally didn't give him anything to carry. <laughs> Uh, I have some spare shields at least, and I have some smoke grenades, but I don't seem to have much in terms of medequip, which is bad. Uh, so we have a corporal, a private, we should send someone with with some uh, something on their shoulders with them. It seems Lars. And Farrelly just goes with the main squad. This is definitely a pistol, not a heavy weapon, so we won't be able to take it anyway. Um, maybe there there might be... No, it's just most likely farmers here. Um, I was just thinking uh, whether there could be civilians that um, had some heavy weapons for us. And we're just gonna pile up here first turn what could happen uh, that's pretty safe just run out there and Matsuko Ma Matsako I think I pronounced her name wrong multiple times by now just all go down here don't have flying enemies anyway I don't think and Fuda will just stay here. I think we're just gonna keep it for with um, the SMG for now. Okay, something got repaired. <laughs> okay, you almost killed him. Palmer, are you brave or are you running? You're running. Trying to get behind the smoke, which is um, what I would do also. There was something else here, but I think it was another civilian, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much. We have enough uh, pistol ammo, because I'm trying to learn from my mistakes, but just um, I'm making such a multitude of them. Okay. Yeah, you have a pistol, right? You do. Toxin pistol. And you are a dead physician. Which I don't really care about. Okay, let's assume that this barn is uh, empty of enemies. Oh, okay, it's not. This is not a civilian. Hello. Um, What can we do about this now? We could try suppressing it with a grenade maybe? What does Filda have in terms of anything? I don't even know if these are uh, more vulnerable to kinetics. Like I might, I might go here with Filda and just shoot it twice, right? Basically. Last is also here with the big gun. Okay, so uh, plasma caster 35 from here should work. And then we'll see how it reacts to energy damage. This cannot miss, right? Okay, it reacts well to <laughs> to energy damage in in our terms. Whew, okay, I'm I'm glad we have these weapons. This was quite a nice load of damage. And um what I'm gonna do with Filda is go here and we're gonna just have her stay here for the foreseeable future. 
to scout all of this. Okay, there's the UFO already. Um, just to basically scout ahead for us. I don't get why it's changing levels all the time. Like I'm always wanting to fly up to level 3, so it shouldn't even be a question here. There's one guy running there. There was something trampling along this field, which might be the Reaper. Because harvest season is definitely near. Hu <laughs> hu. 27 from a, for a burst from you. If we see something long range from here, we might be able to exploit that. Um, this is another hedgerow. Like let's let's look in this direction, right? Up there in the barn, shouldn't be something else. Forty-eight is getting into risky territory. Oh, does this thing have a heavy weapon? Actually, I'm inclined to check next turn unless I forget and we can have at least two soldiers down here um, like what would be the path okay you would go there so go there first there is one and we can shoot it and maybe suppress it once you are out of the way. And it has something close range flamer thingy maybe, even though nothing caught fire there. Do we have any heavy weapon here? No, we just have rifles, okay. That will have to do then. Okay, so if I go here, right, I should be seeing it again. And now I can shoot it. And suppression is obviously the aim. <laughs> Three civilians just like standing around it in a circle here, waiting to be shot. Uh, kind of not the, not the thing you wanna, you wanna be doing in such a scenario. We are seeing something here, so I feel uh, reasonably safe from ambushes. I'm not sure if it has some explody weapon, we can't see from this angle. But I feel inclined to uh, make it stay by staying behind the car, maybe here. So we also have this most likely isn't like the car most likely isn't covering that we wanted to uh, avoid wounds anyway right but with a smoke grenade that might work uh, fairly uh, sadly as the as the big boy suit Maybe Simon can throw a smoke grenade. Fourteen percent, you say. Twenty-three time units means you can get a bit closer still. Like here. And do that with better odds. Uh, just one up. One up. Like this. Uh, well, okay. Uh, now I feel uh, reasonably safe here. Okay, she wants to turn for that anyway, so we're just gonna turn. And um, feel like Brandon, being the lieutenant that he is, um, 
should stay behind here for now and go out next turn. And we're hopefully gonna close in on this thing. It should get like shotgun in the face anyway. And Farrelly just can basically be here. Moral support. Moral support Farrelly. I didn't strictly want to do that. I wanted to land first, but hey, what can you do, right? Come on. Okay, and next one I want to fly up here and look around. That was another Reaper. We might see zombies here soon. Yeah, that's a flamer weapon. <laughs> Come on, what's that? Oh, yeah, okay, you were suppressed. Nice, nice. I take these some armor um, degradation and there's a zambi okay so we know the reaper is also somewhere here not going towards us for now but you never know right are you on level 3 already you aren't Please fly up to where I wanted you to. The zombie cannot attack us while in the air, obviously. Can you? Okay. You can't walk through the window. Then last just walks here. Neutron cannon. That looks like, I mean, it has two shots, but it's something, right? Um, the flamer thing. Um, over there is of no use anyway so might it well as well walk fairly over here grab this neutron cannon and then have something to actually have him participate with there might have been some struggle here but it might also have been like uh, ambient stuff from the UFO crash. Don't know yet. Alright, so this team is pretty much set for what I wanted them to do. I just fly straight over here. Still the oh, there's the Reaper. Okay. Um, we have grenades for that, um, but I'd want to kill this thing first. I mean, I don't want any more zombies, basically, but that's something else, right? Come on, from here you can shoot a burst. Let's let's just try. <laughs> Matsako, wow, like with 53 accuracy, that was impressive. Very, very good. Okay, so the um, the idea here would be to throw a grenade on that thing and then look for the like these two blocks might get uh, unhatched. <laughs> it's a it's a special term, you don't need to know that. Um, yeah, blocked 100%? I don't think so. Boom! And then uh, we can basically get in here with the rifle and burst it over the hatch. Bye bye. Bye bye Reaper. And now we get back into uh, the safety of line of sight cover because that's just what heroes do. Um, I'm talking so much nonsense today um, to use a, a family friendly term <laughs> I think your cover is not gonna last just have a feeling there okay filler with this amount of uh, time units, I feel like we can go on exploring a bit here. 
do I like is do I anticipate needing filter over here? Is the question. Mm, well, if I leave fairly there, like the the chance is very low, right? That I need a fifth um, soldier there. I think I'm gonna put her here for now. What? Where? Why? Zombies? No, zombie and reaper. Okay. Second reaper. Right. I mean, against the Reaper, we could have landed on the roof, but there's no saying like where the other civilians are, right? So, not gonna risk that. And um, I think with that, we can first of all save because that's a good thing to do. As I recognized in the last, uh, or the second to last uh, recording. No, don't run towards the Reaper. Come with me if you wanna live. Uh, I wanna send the shield out first. Maybe we should turn into this here. But this looks like um, the end of the road. I'm I'm gonna send Matsuko here and support her if we need that. That's a flame rifle, okay, nothing heavy. Um Matsako, still getting a name wrong. It's not intentional, I swear. Okay, with someone else, um Corporal and the lieutenant maybe. And then the shield can basically go the other way around not that it's gonna help much against the reaper but you know nothing to be seen here okay so it's still like it got shot by a shotgun which implies to me that it was this farmer i didn't hear it attack so it like it was here with the zombie um might have run through here and then got shocked by the shotgun. But then it would be out here, right? And I would see it. Okay, there it is. Maybe another shotgun then. I don't think we can get close to this thing this turn. Um, yeah, so just like going to here and here seems to be a reasonable choice checking the inside of this barn here like briefly getting around with the shield to here feel okay at the corner and then these two can wrap around here and then we might get that thing next turn. I um, think I wanna have a look inside here also. Okay, what else is there? The, another zombie? Okay. Didn't think I he heard a zombie fight. Maybe it's just stuck in there because of reasons. Okay, so oh yeah, we're gonna go over here. Whoop. We are away. And then we have Simon. And Simon says I go here. And Tank says I'm gonna just advance down that road. Would love it if the, if the road actually gave a, a movement point cost reduction, basically. Come on, can you not pick that up yourself? Or is it a sniper thing? Like this is a this is a heavy weapon. Definitely. Neutron cannon. Oh can I yeah, I can pick up the alien smoke grenade. Can pick up the neutron clip. Can most likely even put that into my backpack. 
can I move it into the bar? Okay. So, not a heavy weapon for me today, it seems. Unless it is maybe uh, carried by a, a civilian, then that might might work. Yeah, this is most most definitely just crash side from the UFO. quite some amount of ammunition at least. Don't know about damage, but... safer inside even though this building is really bit beat up but uh, being shot at from the upper floors is seldomly nice I say <laughs> this uh, amount of time units is really atrocious should just be patrolling him up and down here learn to walk already Oop, oop, oop. I'm just walking here. I have no weapon with me. But that's alright. What do you scout I see? Uh, what? Why? Uh, can I not? Just go over that. Okay, you, you can. You can fly forward on that, right? There's. And the first one, like this, the second one, the Reaper or some zombie has been shot. Not too sure what of these two. Just have to check these stars first. There's the there's the Reaper. Okay. I think we can kill that. Um, and also there's this thing shooting us from down there, right? And then we also want to get away from these zombies. Like there might be might be a grenade in order here. Can I just throw that there? That would be nice. 139% looks good. <laughs> And everything's down as uh, my good friend, whom I don't know personally, but Arian said everybody dies. <laughs> Brendan, uh, look at Matsako, how what what she performed, like how how she performed. It wasn't that. It was way better. So. Get your nerves together. I think I'm just gonna park the tank here makes it maybe maybe a bit back so it is covered by this tractor so we can kill this reaper basically another zombie was up there 
Um, yeah, but I really want to want to kill this thing here if we can. All right, we can. We're gonna kill the Reaper as best as we can, and we can. The zombie might attack the tank, but that's okay. Um, Filter's going to go back and still keep some eyes on the situation here. These zombies tend to be slow, so not too worried here. Should have saved. I'm gonna do that now. Just so we have another save game. Um, would also want to just waltz over that zombie. That would be cool. That seems like a waste, but we could do something like this, right? I don't know where the other fire was coming from. Okay. <laughs> Nothing was hitting the zombie. So uh, now we're gonna kill it with other measures, it seems. Like a beast. Uh. Okay. So two of us might get suppressed here but I can't really move the tank because of grass reasons I'm gonna roll it over here as I said I don't really know where this was even coming from so we might be able to find out not 100% sure though see almost to map edge Looking that way doesn't give us much, right? Brandon, Mr. No Shot. Um, I th think I only saw these two zombies. Not a hundred percent sure, and I'm gonna check at least these here. Also, I should have checked this thing, like this barn for putting Filda there, but hey, this is green cover and it's very far away, so I feel quite okay putting Jakob here. Why can you not see around there? Okay, thanks. And Matsako will just have to motor here. And then seems we have we will have both teams um, more or less on the on the price rather soon is there a stairway there is Seems rather empty. The thing is, I don't want to get uh, shot in here, or the whole building might collapse on us here. Which I wouldn't mm, like very much. No ambushing civilians here. This is kind of suspicious. Suspicious. A 
And Amy, I want you to do some extra tool here. Like this, nice. Spend some time units while you can. And um, yeah, with that I'm feeling pretty sure that there's nothing here. Should still just be a rifle, I guess. With these small triplets, and it was from some somewhere like there. that where is that coming from from behind the UFO or what I have to get filled up back right mm. yeah I mean I could put her here right here seems okay-ish I'm gonna put her here know if that did anything I wanted but the thing I got regardless so wow that that did some damage on the shield I think it was two hits definitely wasn't much more so let's go where is she Is Matsako? Oh, okay. Behind the tractor there. Could throw a second smoke grenade. That would be nice. Yeah. Better suited, most likely, even though I feel like this is the exact corridor that we that we miss here. I'm just gonna really check this, check back here with a heavy weapon scouting. Always a good idea. Shield and use somewhere down here maybe there and just to be pretty sure that mask uh, mass <laughs> uh, laser mass can be can be protected here okay this is actually an entry to run through Run around, Emil. I need you to work your legs. Did you just walk through that workbench thing there? Hmm. Not too sure about that. So, where's the fire coming from? Okay, from this exact corridor, yeah. Somewhere back there. I could run all the way there. 
Okay, if you do that, just stay flying. Yep, there it is. Uh, suppress it first. Suppress the entry second. And then we can be some happy pandas here, I feel. We can get our sheer troops up, we can throw some smokes. We can get Filda like thereabouts. Uh. Sorry, that was just my phone. Don't know if you um, if that was audible, but as the phone is lying on the desk and also the microphone is fixed to the desk, it might well be that you heard that. Do you have smokes? You do. That's nice. It's always what we want. People with smokes. Best kind of people. Oh, come on. Really? Someone else? Jakob? Yep. Just come somewhere here. Oh, that's too far. Damn it. Okay, nope. Don't, don't run up and down. Well, I'm just gonna have to suffer through that. We have a shield there. What could possibly happen, right? Hey, we could try to snapshot it from here, but we're just we're just gonna creep up on it. We are the creep division after all. Emil goes this way. We have the tank to suppress anything else. I'm not too keen on your reaction fire in our vicinity, so nope. We could actually pick up um, a shot, a farmer shotgun, or something with Lars. But I don't know if they drop it when they are zombified, so I'm uh, not, not convinced that this is actually a thing. We could pick up a f uh, alien flamer toxin whatever rifle with him and give this thing to Farrelly actually. That would be something that we can do. Okay, not much else to do now. Other than wait for them to get out, which they don't do it seems. Hey, you're shooting my grass. I don't like that. Hey, can you please turn around? Thanks. 117. I'm liking those damage numbers. 99 is also okay. This is a small weapon, right? Metagy rifle, yeah. So let's let's do that. Let's come on. I'm just just gonna put that in quiet mode here. Um, like this. It's just that I also um, waiting for a phone call. Um, Drop that here like it's hot. Drop all that because it costs us nothing. And then pick up that and that because we can. Um, this grenade isn't picked up, but I think we don't pick them up anyway, right? I mean, even if, if so, it wouldn't really matter. Does not matter much.
Oh yeah, we could even pack a shield with that. That would be funny. Can you walk the other way around? Thanks. Hop, hop, hop. I forgot my weapon at home. Now I'm running around the battlefield. Like a big dum dum. That was, of course, my mistake. Not any of my soldiers. I was just too excited to get the production of, uh, I guess it was uh, plasma rockets or something up. Let's first of all suppress that. I knew it. Like, this is like five tiles away. Come on. It's not even close. This is also like not not really close, but okay. Protects the, the ones more vulnerable if you disregard that they have shields. Um, project human um, what's the what's the English word? Uh, right shield? Something like this. Human shield. It's just human shield. Of course. Also it is. Defender can come closer and eat a bit more bullets because at its, um, its hit points don't really matter. And Brandon will just stay behind it and look out for something behind us that isn't there. And we're happy with that. And um, Filter will switch for a proper weapon now. Not that I don't like these, but... And I should save again. It's just reminded after I put the... Um, the thing up, whatever it's called. Um, the end turn stuff. Apparently, hop de dop I'm gonna walk through a wall. And now I have a machine gun. Muhaha. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and even boatloads of reloads. It sounds like it's kinda double double what I actually wanna say, but oh, come on, I hate this grass. It's just this grass for should I do that again? I should do that again. That was worth it. Like this, this one captured just brings money, of which we have enough, I guess. Unless we want to build a new base, a new air base, maybe. Um. The other one at least gives something to uh, something to build stuff with. Uh, let's do it. Let's EMP them. All right, and the rest might be done with. Something like the shotguns. The problem here is that I am not too sure. Okay, that's better. I wanted to say I'm not too sure where the stun smoke stuff begins, but now I am quite sure Jakob has a has a shotgun, and I hope it reaches that far. It does. Even with the burst, nice. I wanna. Concentrate on this thing. Okay, didn't even go through. Um, Filter, same idea. From here. Fifty. Okay, this seemed to be dead instead of stunned. 
Uh, is this in the smoke? No. Okay. This doesn't even look like in the in the stun smoke. I can shoot that. That's definitely dead. Lars has their Metagy rifle. <laughs> 28 for burst. Wow. Nice. Um, nice TU costs you have there. Generally, would would want to have a weapon like this. This is like this is three bursts. I think a burst is three shots, so that's nonsensical. But like, like imagine if you could do two bursts and a reload or something like this. With that, it would just be insane. Insane as insanely. As an insanely unfair. What do you see? Where and why? Okay, yeah, that's a glitch. Alright, go on. Should be nothing walking through that to get to us. Maybe shooting through, but doesn't look like it. Again, forgot to save. Gonna do that now. Can we walk in here? Seems you can. We at least seem to claim that there's a way in there. Uh, private? Do you say the same? Okay. Let's try that with you then. Oh, you are lieutenant. <laughs> Not private. <laughs> just because you, you have the low gun, I just thought. You're private. So, we can definitely get in there. Um... My Hubris wants to check if we actually captured one of them, but like, most likely not. Just come here. Uh, big gun. Maybe big suppression gun first. And then big other gun. Uh, get your rifle. You're in the way, soldier. Proceeds to fly over you. Damn officers. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's clear. Oh, it's captured. Cool. With 110 damage from. <laughs> from the uh, laser oh this is even this is captured okay don't mind wasn't the engineer the thing that we are missing all the time look at me soldier i'm better than you i can fly and the uh, tank is just here now and forgot to save again yeah I wanna save now because we can. There is most likely a, a, a hotkey for that, but who's got time for that? <laughs> Hello? What's it all? Like, I mean, I have a mini gunner behind that shield that you just tried to shoot, so maybe you should choose your words or weapons or whatever more wisely Oof, okay <laughs> that's the kind of reaction fire you really don't expect um, but it didn't hit anything it seems Just yeah sneaky whatever you are Harriden do we have a Harriden thingy captured yet 
how hard are they to capture? I think Sander threw his stun grenade. We could damage it a bit and then retreat. This is also a heavy weapon, so... <laughs> Another one. Okay, so we can choose if we want to capture any of them. Um, Emil has done its due, basically. You can just park him here. Maybe bait another shot of this one against the shield. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Or something else shooting at him. <laughs> With all their shots. Uh, Lars has a stunny grenade. Like, what's what's the green range on that? Oh, that's so insane. I mean, the the um, the accuracy modifiers are abysmal, but the green range is cool. If we were to go here and shoot that thing, it's n it might survive. But Oh, okay, maybe we're gonna shoot that then, because that could also suppress, right? What the heck? Right, didn't suppress. Come here. Um, now our actual big gun. Maybe we, sh we should just plug this gap with stun smoke or whatever, which Filter has. Yeah, I feel like stun smoking here would be a good thing. And then we could kill one of these. <coughs> like this one, maybe, that uh, didn't shoot yet um, with this thing. Even though I feel like. Uh, we can't shoot it from here most likely and the shield needs to go somewhere right oh we can shoot it from here nice block 75 percent from what from our shield should we hunker him down okay uh. i am become deaf now okay so we can go here, we can shoot it like once or twice with the rifle and then try to... Okay, or we shoot it with the pistol, same damage around and then we try to stun it with the grenade. I feel that's reasonable, right? Shoot once, shoot twice, shoot thrice and then see if stun grenading does anything against these. Maybe we can even do it from here. Uh, in a way where we don't stun around maybe. Come here. It's a blocked. Uh, okay. So, but there is a there is a tile right here, right? This one, where we should be able to do that. <laughs> might it might be get blocked. Okay, that's down. Nice. Now we definitely have one of these. Uh, big guy just shot. I want the stun smoke in first, I feel. Like what's your odds of throwing that and what's the range? That looks so good. And it looks like you definitely hit that. So we're just gonna do that. It also <laughs> covers this door. Um yeah what's not what's not to love uh, about that, right? Could even try throwing one of these behind it to get the 
the big guy again but I'm not really sure I care nine percent hit chance here Uh, maybe gets out again to be the safest thing all right that's nice but I uh, actually want that to to get down because I'm I'm fearing grenades here Maybe we can throw one of our own. Yeah, something like this. All right. Okay, this one's down. This one should also most likely go down. This one's down too. That's nice. And I'm um, just gonna roll back here to mitigate the grenade problem. Um, if there ever was one. Uh, Stefan Larsson can turn around and go forward and make room for Ferry to walk through here, walk around here and also like walk here at least and then we can... Could you please walk the other way around? Thanks. Basically like this, right? Oh, Matsako is still out here. Our sniper in training. Okay, this thing's still up and unsuppressed. And it throws a grenade, obviously. <laughs> and, th and then it walks a tile and is getting thingy thingy. -ed. Okay. I injured zero days because of excess hit points most likely last Lunde got injured there for a bit okay we already had the Harridan soldier um, not too sure about the Reaper Alpha actually if we had this um, engineer and pilot got sold for a bit of cash got power sources Yeah, and we learned that we should uh, actually equip our weapons. <laughs> oh, Simon got so much stuff. Uh, seven strength is cool. Four time units is also cool. Um, Filter got nothing. Farrelly obviously got. Wh why did he? N oh, okay, because he was a time unit and hit point wise on the limit already. And some people got something, right? Not as much time units. Or as many as I would have hoped, but that's something. And um, with that, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm just gonna shoot that thing down when it's over land, hopefully, and um, then do these both uh, two missions. And then in three episodes, hopefully, we will equip for the base if there's not a terror or anything in the way still. Um, Thanks for watching and be excellent to each other. Bye bye.